Now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The Ratway, well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but we could discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We have a small fortune. Ain't something you'd give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. If you're looking... Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar. Which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give the City of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real... Motivation to visit Skyrim.
Need her? I can take you to. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Sky. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! You betrayed Get us! Get on with it! You're all hard to in. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Traitor. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric's Liar! Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo. On this day, I go to Solengard. Some gate guard you are! Even think about it. He died well. Feel free to make requests. I'm so glad Vidorian asked you to chose a public reception. That way the entire city can share in their holy I know those troublemaking Stormcloaks refuse to submit to Imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason! And when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them now, to now, preserve fella, our own Let's not get too close to my new bride, eh? My point exactly. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness... for me. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day, please. Eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Please, enjoy yourself. Make sure to get yourself something to drink. The best. Vittorious good woman. Any man should be so lucky. I know my father is not happy about me marrying an Imperial, but that is his problem. It's been good talking to you. Vittoria may be pretty, but does she have the right tips for the job? I want grandchildren, and lots of them. I still think my boys should have had a traditional Nord wedding. Outside, in the cool mountain air. Long as I stay out of the way, the gods don't seem to care about me being. I've eaten more in the last two hours than I have in the last two weeks. I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. 
Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Am I? Free food and wine, and nobody's trying to throw me in the dungeon. I wish they did weddings here every day. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. I do miss that helmet. Victoria did pretty well. Enjoy yourselves. You have all helped a merry wedding. All of my dreams have come true. So thank you. Thank you all. Victoria! No! Please, someone do something. The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. I'll try and hold him off as best I can. You get back to the sanctuary. Is someone there? <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. I'm sorry, but your bonus is forfeit. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. 
Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sinus.